Hey there, well watchers. My name is Wifey Well, and today we are back with some more of the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. And we have been exploring the. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that was there. Um, we have been exploring Pell Pass and uh, this serpenty place. And it's the Tower in the Fallen. Anyway, wow, this is a mess of an opening. We spent the entire last episode in here, and uh, even with spending the whole episode in here, we were not able to complete it. Let's try and do that now. Oh, and Kyle died. Rest in peace, Kyle. And all that's really been in here are these. Actually, I don't think there's been anything else besides these, has there? Not in here, anyway. There were some pretty interesting critters last episode, though. In Paul Pass itself. <sighs> Plunging with the one fist since our torch boy died. it's bad because my hands are cold and like my fingers are like locking up and that was a lot of click click clicking for my poor little cold fingers that I can't hardly feel okay is there anything over here no venom of the serpent It's green. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm observing the area. I think I only see one baddie. May not even be a baddie. What if it's a goodie? Little did you arrive here, messenger. You have made a long and perilous journey, but there is no time to of Raymond is at our doorstep and our supplies have dwindled. We have awaited your arrival. Tell us, what news do you bring from Atlanta? All is lost. We're dead. Well done, soldier. Your mission is complete and you have my thanks. Now we may rest. Long live the Acker. After seeing the orders, the Akaviri commander vanished, the ruins are now silent and at peace. After so many years, the Akaviri's final mission has been completed. I should proceed ahead and search for the Mad Stone. I'll just find it in like two seconds and I should have just finished it at the end of the last episode. Oh gosh. Yep, should have finished it. Oops. <laughs> Well, I didn't know you guys. I'm gonna see what it does. Resist poison 50%, resist disease. It's a beautiful stone. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. This is easy. Ultimate focus. This is the one I'm worried about. We should have done it. Yay. That was like nothing, but yay. Oh, 
Well, Gabe's like luck now. I think it's making us go all the way back through. Instead of it being like a shortcut. Shows to go that way. Speaking of Kyle. Yeah, that's that's what happens sometimes. Oh, this is not right. There we go. Well, this is problematic because we still haven't found that chest with the old note and the the thing, the crumpled note was signed by a GS. We haven't figured out that mystery yet. We're going the right way, right? Just doesn't feel right. Took this trap off. It wasn't me. All right. Now we gotta figure out what to do about the chest or whatever. There's like zero. We found the barrel there. There's like zero indication of where it is in the valley. So I say we search together for a few minutes. And if I get bored, or I feel like you guys are probably getting bored, I'll just look it up. Okay, you guys, I just spent the last 15, 20 minutes or so running all over the valley. Still only found the same chest, the old chest. So I looked it up. Of course, I still don't know if we're going to actually find it. Um, it says the first one is called a rusty chest, and it says it's in, like, the western tower, which I'm assuming means around... I don't know if it means this or that, but it said it'll be in the glass, and it'll be kind of hard to see, and it'll be buried. So, is this chicken house? I didn't even know we could come in here. Like, all the way down here in the grass? Yeah, I don't see anything. Maybe there's grass up above. I don't really know how you get up there. Don't know if you can. Maybe I'm blind. It says it's partly buried. But you would think if I ran my cursor over it, would appear. There's a lot of grass. How is anyone supposed to find this? Oh man. Oh! Old key. Now we know where the old chest is. Kinda. So let's head back to it. And then this third one, uh, I'm not sure yet. I haven't even read it. But I did read there was only three chests, so. The last chest, well, I mean this next chest, was off the trail a little bit. Like behind a rock. Maybe where this guy died? Ah, mm hmm. Open the container. Forgotten key. 
This is the last chest. The forgotten key. Forgotten chest. Southwest of the door from the serpent's trail through which you first entered Pell Pass. Southwest of the door. Okay. So let's go back up to the beginning then. And hopefully we can follow these instructions. We should be able to. I mean, we played Morrowind. <laughs> but yeah, I ran everywhere. I didn't see anything. Is the entrance through here? Mm, yeah, it's just very well hidden. Okay, so southwest of this door. Um, okay, so up like the mountain. From the door, go southwest up the hill to the right if you're facing the door, sticking to the natural walk rock wall that forms the outer edge of the valley. Keep following it as it curves east, then south, and back west. You will come to a large rock with a tree beside it. On the far side of the rock, you will find the chest. Yeah, that's not complicated. I think I've already probably messed this up. It says, follow the rock wall and eventually we'll curve east, right? That's what it said. This way? Maybe I did something wrong. No. Keep following it as it curves east, then south, then west. I don't even know. Large rock with a tree beside it. This, maybe, hopefully. Far side of the rock, you'll find the chest. I hope it's this rock. I have a feeling it's not. Alright, let's keep going. We're curving east now. Should we be up here? that way. Maybe it's this? Gotta go that way, turn back. Ugh. On the far side of the rock. That's definitely a rock with a tree. Is that what that meant? A rock, a large rock with a tree beside it. The far side of the rock, you'll find the chest. This is definitely a rock with a tree. That could be a rock with a tree. Hmm. See the chest, do you guys? Alright, let's 
let's keep going. Maybe it's this rock. <sighs> I'm just trying to check all the rocks with trees at this point. And there's only a couple left. And, um, I'm not sure. <gasps> oh my gosh. Yay! Uh, I'm vegan. It's really not worth it, but it satisfied my curiosity. Goodness. Okay, I was saying that I wasn't even sure how long it's been, but I was going to have to give up. Because look, I mean, there's only a couple trees left, and I... I, came, I had come all the way back to the entrance. I went way out far. I guess I went just way too far. Wish I would have just said like in this circle next to the... Whatever. Alright. Ugh. Fast travel to Castle Bruma. So... I'm 40 minutes into my recording. And, uh, I don't know how many minutes into the actual episode we're going to be by this point. So I'm not sure where I should cut this. Like, how much I want to cut out, how far I should go over. Hey, no, 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 Missy? Don't you dare. Have you recovered the medstone? Yes. I never thought it possible. I mean, I had hoped. But to actually hold it in my hands. Oh, it's more beautiful than I imagined it. Congratulations. I had a feeling you were the right person for the job. And it seems I owe you a reward. This Akaviri ring was found with the messenger's diary. It awards the wearer with increased agility and resistance to harmful magic. It's known as the Ring of the Viper Eye. I hope it serves you well in your future journeys. Yay. That was awful. <laughs> that was a horrible quest. With the information you have given me about Pale Pass, it could take scholars many years to amend the history books. The Madstone is finally mine. It's the pinnacle of my collection. Many thanks to you again. He served Emperor Uriel for many years, and so far he has done well in an impossible situation. Some see only the conflicts between northern and southern cultures, but I see the way they are stronger when woven together. I don't trust you enough to talk about that. Wow, I just spent like eight years getting it that It is for not you. always an easy life we lead, Whatever. but the people must be served. May luck be always on your side. Whatever, I'm mad at you. Well, we freaking did it. That was, that was a tough quest. Uh huh. I figured she'd put it around here. And she gave me a ring that. This one. I mean, it's worth a good deal, and it weighs nothing, but. Alright, let's rent a bed here in Bruma. That way we can level up. And then we need to find someone to repair our armor. And we need to... Go forth and I guess do another quest. Here. Are any of these businesses... They don't have, like, signs hanging up. I can't tell... I mean, we can take a bed here. Hello. I'm really yeah, I need you to um, you got some buy property. something that i stolen from a certain person, and um, I would appreciate if you don't tell him that we took this. I think I can move this item for you at that price. Thank you. Got anything else? I mean, I I'm do, glad. but nothing stolen. Hello. What can I do for you today? Need a bed, please. I've got a room and a cheap one at that. You're looking for one? 
Right then. Head up the stairs. It's the first door on your right. Remember, I didn't say it was clean. I said it was cheap. Good journey to you. Okay. That's sufficient. Oh, wow, there's so many things. Strength. Block armor. How much fatigue you have your health and how much your health will increase when you sleep in raised levels. We'll go ahead and do that just because it has a plus three on it. And then total magic. How quickly you regenerate. Oh, you can't believe how easy it is. You just got. Why do I always forget to read it? Hmm? Oh. Whatever. So, is our stuff refilled? No, our intelligence is still damaged. That's very interesting. So, we're going to have to go heal somewhere. Somehow. Well, dang it. I guess we'll run back to Imperial City just because I know where everything is. <laughs> um, I guess we could have just slept in this town at this rate. Let's take a nap and hope we don't get attacked again. We can also see if we can pick up a new Kyle. I'm not sure if we'll be able to or not. Hello, friend. What? Actually, you know what? No, I always talk to you and I noticed Hi. this guy last I'm episode. Granada. I handle the heavy armor at the best defense. I'm also an advanced trainer in heavy armor. So I know what I'm talking about. Mm. I'm pretty handy. What needs to be fixed? Thank you. You too. Creep. All right. Let's go back to our Three Brothers Trade Goods sell all of these teeth. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what were you doing? And then I'm just gonna say, don't question the Karen. Be happy to help you. What can I interest you in? Okay, we have some stuff to sell. Um. I guess we can continue to wear this, at least until we get something different, I suppose. We'll go drop that off. Yes, restore, we definitely need to keep, it's apparently that's going to be an issue. Store night eye fortify. You've made a good bit of gold. I just feel like we're never gonna use some of these. You drive off. Uh We have That's a, a fair uh -oh, deal. My puppy's up. He's on the move. Just buy all of the stuff. Sixteen ogres to you. Yes, I definitely wasn't up to anything. Uh Let's sell these rare books because I have a whole set 
at our home in Anvil. So, yeah. That's a fair deal. Okay. Thank you for Fine. Finally, inventory is cleared. Now we just need to find a way to restore ourselves, which... Um... We'll try here. Maybe Julius can fix this up. I put my fist down. Good tidings, citizen. Once oblivion breaks over me everywhere, it's only a matter of time before another city goes the way of Kavach. Hey, can someone Welcome. heal me? Goodbye. I'll pay handsomely if you can procure the items in that list. Find me everything on there, and you'll be well compensated. Good day. You gave me a list? When did you give me a list of things to get? Camp Ales, more like a batch. Hmm. Okay. Is that like marked on my map or okay so can anyone heal me is this where i should be that's red um what's a arboretum a arboretum Hold on a second. Do, 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 do. Okay. This looks like a garden. Doesn't look like I can get healed here. Temple? I mean, you go to the temples for healing in Morrowind. Oh, maybe this is where we saw Julius. <gasps> oh, Julius! <gasps> oh, you're not naked anymore! Can you heal me? Yeah, of course not. Can you heal me? Shemad keeps the grounds of the temples nice and neat. Other things Shemad does when they ask. Can you restore me? Marinus Cadiotis. I'd of Lenorman and me. We're associates. Same interests, same style. So you guys are having relations. Goodbye. It's my pleasure. Please continue. Uh, Be seeing you. I don't know how to heal. I feel so stupid. I guess we could just go to a shop and buy a potion. Everybody needs a copy of the Black Horse Courier. Yeah, I don't think any of these are shops. chance red diamond jewelry the feed bag general good places and in staffs 
are just okay. Discount spells. Wait, do I see? Do they sell the store attribute spells in this game? Try the Mystic Emporium. Welcome to the Mystic Emporium. Galindilly's here with all your needs under one roof. Look and buy. Nothing could be easier. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Twenty five points. Is that what I have? Buy. Pull it up, buddy. Minor wounds. I could buy. Okay. And then what is it that I need to restore? My intelligence. Okay. Yes. Let's do business. I mean, we definitely want that one. The rest of these, I don't really... Do we have an illusion skill of 25? Um, I appreciate Uh, what about you? Do you sell? What? Do you sell spells? Always keep your magical equipment charged. Mm. Let's do business. Definitely gotta get my magic up. Farewell. Yes. Oh wait, what do you guys have for self sell though? Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Another. Well, I don't think our intelligence is that drained, but we'll see. Thirty six and. Yeah, it was only four points. Well, whatever, we're filled. I don't care anymore. Okay. So, we are good now, right? We did everything I needed to do. Yeah. We need to change our hot bell, our hot bar. Okay, five. How do I do that? Uh, I can't remember. How do we put something in our hot bar? Mmm. Okay, I mean, I guess it can go in three. How do I take out this one, though?
I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. Alright. Now I guess we can go back to Bruma. We still have several quests there. Two sides of the coin. I've heard that Anora or Oraya of Bruma is looking for some help recovering some money that was stolen from her. I should make my way to her house and see if I can help. Okay. She in the truck. Here. What? Oh, shoot. Oh. I came down here to help. Can't you see that I'm upset? Uh, I suppose I can trust you with this information. After all, if you can help me recover my stolen gold, you may find yourself earning some of it. Okay, well then go on. I mean, well. I know what you've heard, all about Jorunda and his run-in with the town guard. Well, let's just say it isn't exactly all true. I may have let a detail or two leak out to entice someone such as you to assist me until you agree to my scheme i don't want to say more all i can promise is that you'll be making a lot of money are you in or are you out i guess i'm Smart in Smart answer here's the deal jorunda and i have had a rocky relationship at best against my will i've been dragged all over cyrodiil helping him commit petty crimes I wouldn't say we're thieves. I mean, we've stolen things, sure. But we've never stolen that much at one time. Just enough to keep us going. That is until last year. Jorunda started to take risks and began robbing more dangerous targets. Not just lone merchants, mind you. I'm talking about the bigger scores, like estates and tax shipments. I begged him to stop, as I knew that his capers would one day lead to violence just threatened to hurt me if I got in his way. I think the gold changed him, I really do. He wasn't the man I met seven years ago. The few times I tried to say something, he'd strike me or push me away. I began to become frightened of him. Our last score was a tax shipment being delivered to the Imperial City. We robbed it, and in the midst of the chaos, Jorunda killed a guard. I was mortified. We snatched up the gold and holed up in the mountains. He said if I breathed a word of the murder to anyone, he'd kill me. I was terrified of him at this point. Two days later, the Bruma City Guard traced us to our makeshift campsite. I was off gathering food, but Jorunda was captured. Served him right. When I went back to the site later, the gold was gone. He'd moved it. What I need you to do is go to the Bruma Castle dungeons and speak to him for me. Convince him to tell you where the gold is and then we split it. Okay, she also had a long story. They like to talk in this game, huh? Not like you could just come out and say, so get creative. Okay, I'll do my best. All right, so she was being abused, it seems. And he's just in the jail here. This will be fun. We've spent our fair share of time in the prisons and such. I understand why she wants the money. But I'm kind of worried about... She said something about persuading him. I hope I don't have to take off my clothes. Oh, hello. Good 
what did I miss? Hello? Hello? Is this like an evidence show? Oh, we forgot to look and see if Kyle was alive and well. I wanted to pick that up and see if he would do his thing. Dang it. Oh, we're going to have to get Kyle back after this. Oh, I went the wrong way. Just so distracted thinking about our lost buddy. Hi. Good to see you. Yes? What a bother. Don't be too long about it. I got to stay with you, so there isn't any funny business. Oh. Can I still take off my clothes? Prisoners may not accept gifts. Why is there blood? Don't get too close to the prisoners. I don't know who you are, nor do I care. All I know is that I want you to leave. I'm not talking to you about anything. You're an outsider. I bet you're trying to trick me into telling something and the guards put you up to it. That fetcher of a guard, Torellius, is always trying to be sneaky. Well, you can forget it. Tell him it isn't going to work. Prisoner. May not accept gifts. I'm not trying to give him a gift. No touching the locks. Oh my gosh. Calm down. He Don't get too close to the prisoners. This is a Karen right here. He puts me to shame. May not accept gifts. Oh my lord, he's driving me nuts. Okay, let's see what it says. Uh <gasps> what? I have to get arrested. Don't get too close to the prisoners. Okay, I'm Afternoon, done. Man. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. How do I say goodbye? What a bot. Okay, whatever. Let's put our stuff in here. Anything that's stolen, which honestly, I don't know if we have anything stolen anymore. No. Okay, then I know what I'm gonna do. Hey, it's all over, <laughs> lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. I'll take any stolen goods you have. The next move is yours. Pay your fine, or I'll haul you away. Hope you rot, criminal scum. Criminal scum. Still sexy. You've got nothing to lose, so why not just tell me and save us both a heap of trouble? Yeah, sure. And I suppose I just end up rotting while you spend it all? <laughs> Forget it. You're gonna end up rotting here anyway, you idiot. Oops. <laughs> What? I'm trying to get a thumbnail, and it's not letting me zoom out. What do you want from me? By the way, the guards tossed you in here. I can see you're no friend of theirs. I suppose I can trust you. In fact, maybe you can help me with a bit of a problem, and make some money for yourself in the process. I'm in here for the long haul. They got me for murder, even though I didn't do it. Once the Count makes a ruling, there's no way it's changing. I owe all of this to that heartless, treacherous witch, Arnora. Hmm. You want to know what happened? I'll tell you. I was betrayed, stabbed in the back. I'm in here and Arnora's out there, living in my house. Ah, we were doing petty crimes all over Cyrodiil. Small scores. 10 gold here, 25 there. Nothing big enough to have them investigate you. 
Then along comes Arnora with a plan to waylay a tax shipment headed for the Imperial City. We're talking serious gold, complete with armed escorts. I told her she was crazy, but she insisted. Women have a way of getting men to do what they want. So we did it. We ambushed the shipment. In the process, Arnora killed a guard. I told her to be careful and just knock them out, but she didn't listen. We then buried the gold in the woods. Then she disappears to get supplies. Suddenly, the campsite gets raided by the Bruma City Guard. There's no way they could have found us. Well, there's no doubt she tipped them off. But I was one step ahead. I had moved the loot while she was away. <laughs> My final revenge. Or was it? I'll tell you. I want our Nora dead. That's right, I said dead. She took my life away, and now I want hers taken as well. You do this for me, and you get the gold. All of it. All I need is proof is that damn amulet she always wears. Show that to me, and the money is yours. Hmm. You want the gold? You bring me our Nora's amulet after she's dead. Finally, a chance for revenge. Who do we think's telling the truth? I don't know. His story kind of makes more sense than hers. I don't talk to inmates. Now shut up and don't bother me. Okay. <laughs> Poor Karen, stuck in jail. Nah, oh, well, whatever. Now, do I get all my stuff back? Kind of annoying I have to put it all back on. And then, what rings were we wearing? I don't remember. I think that one, maybe? Hmm... I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Well. No one's actually told me. Like, it says I need to go to her. No one's actually told me where the gold is. So, I think the only way to find out is to actually kill her. Which. I mean we could do I was on her side you know five ten minutes ago this is the wrong house welcome back to the world convict <laughs> eh, she's dying all right well so were you able to find out about the gold or not how could you stand sharing a cell with that imbecile? So he told you another one of his tall tales. I hope he didn't believe him. What's he got in store for me? He sent you to kill me, is that it? What if there was another way? What if he thought I was dead, but I wasn't? Then he'd tell you the location of the gold. What did he need as proof? That fetcher. He knows this is the only heirloom I have left from my family. Only he would stoop so low. Look, I know you could just kill me where I stand. But what if I gave you the amulet and you bring it to him? Then he'd say where the gold stashed. 
You kill me here and now. And as far as the town guard is concerned, it's a crime. So you make your choice. You want to do it my way or Jorunda's? Then prepare for the fight of your life. If I fall, you'll just end up rotting in jail with Jorunda. Either way, no gold for you. We are bounty free, correct? Ooh, look at all these keys. I think we made the right choice. Well, you know, maybe if she hadn't made fun of me when I walked in. I know she was just teasing, but... I didn't come up to her and go, Oh, look! <laughs> the girl that gets beaten. Now let's see what kind of good she has. And I'm surprised she just went with the sword because when we first met her, she was practicing on that. Your poison thing up there, no. I wonder which amulet she would have given me. I don't know. Hey, wait, what were the keys for then? Did I miss something? Was it this? Was this locked? I didn't think so. I didn't see a door in here. Hmm. Why did I go this way? Why did I do this to myself? I don't know if we made the right choice. Afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Hello. I am Duty call. It's creepy how he ran up to me. He must remember that I beat his booty. Now we attempt to be patient. <sighs> Prisoners may not accept gifts. Show me the proof. Two amulets? One of them must be a fake. Clever girl. Taught her everything I know. Good thing you saw through her ruse. 
So she's dead, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! Finally, finally someone has wiped that stupid smug grin off her face. <laughs> good, good. Well, you did your part of the bargain, now I'll do mine. The gold is buried outside the walls of Bruma, near the north gate. Goodbye. I don't expect to be seeing you anytime soon. If I were you, I'd get out of Bruma fast before the guards catch on that she's dead. Sorry, I'm too busy counting the number of rat droppings in my cell. Oh, we were buddies a moment ago, but okay. Prisoners may not accept <laughs> Don't get too close to the prisoners. Let's see if we can find this gold very quickly. We only have a few minutes left of the episode. The North Gate. <laughs> now let's see this huge amount of gold that people were murdered over. Forty gold and a couple this is kinda sad. Well let's see if those are at least skill books. Nice. Um very nice. At least there's that, right, Karen? We have like one minute left. Let's see if we can get Kyle back. <gasps> Is Kyle really dead? I He's dead for good? Why did I feel like he always came back? Oh no, Kyle! Maybe he'll just come out in the daytime. <gasps> I don't see him! Citizen? Ah, I'm. Oh. Have a good day now. Oh no, I think he's actually gone for good unless it takes like a couple days for him to respawn or something. Or just maybe he really is dead, I don't know. Oh, I'm sad. What a what a sad what what a sad note to end the episode on. But unfortunately we are out of time. So as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you being a well watcher and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!